Hi, I'm Randy Seals. I'm a customer advocate with McLeod Software, and I also train on our profitability analysis tool and uh, all of our reporting, which is in our the suite of reports in Loadmaster and Power Broker. Today, I want to talk about using profitability analysis on the brokerage side of the business. And what profitability analysis does in its rawest form is it takes all the revenue that you re get from a load and subtracts the settlement costs from the load and gives you the difference, which is known as margin. And then you can apply costs against that. Now, in, in the asset side, we're talking about fuel costs and, and overhead costs and maintenance costs and things like that, which the broker traditionally doesn't have. So a lot of folks think, well, the profitability analysis doesn't really apply to the brokerage, but it does. And the first thing you have to do is to understand that margin is not profit. Margin is margin, but you still have costs that are applied against that margin that will tell you the true profit of your move, your lane, or the load that your carrier just hauled. So we want to start by thinking about this, is that you have to identify your cost per load factors. What is your cost per load initially? So you can take your cost divided by the number of loads, and there's various other variables within this, and come up with this load costs me X number of dollars to haul. And then you can apply that cost per load to each load. You can apply that cost load to a particular variety of loads by setting it up. But then you want to find out what the factors are that make up that cost per load. Is it insurance? Of course, it's part of it. Overhead, wages, all these things that go into the, the cost that you have after you see what your margin is to find out what the true profit of that load is. There's also variables inside of that cost per load, day of week, time of year, uh, time of day, commodity. For example, the cost per load to haul cereal loads versus the cost per load to haul paper cups could be traditionally a whole lot different because you have claims, you have handling charges, you have a variety of things that, that have costs attached to them that you need to apply against that margin to see and you need to watch that. So you need to look at what those quotients are too, what I call the cost per load quotient. In other words, this quotient of profit, this percentage of profit on this type of load is 6%, the percentage of profit on this load might be 8%. That quotient is different. So where do you grow that business? You got to understand what those are. And then ultimately what the, the, the profitability analysis lets you do is what heretofore no software has ever been able to give you, and which is now the thing, is it will give you your cost per hour to run your business. And that is huge. Now you can, you, can, you can relate to customers on their level, to the manufacturing environment who lives in a per hour cost factor. You can do the same thing. So now you have a different way to, to talk about rates. You can say, listen, I'm not here to get a, a, an increase in rate per mile. It's just if you can release my truck two hours earlier or help me with this, this congestion problem, you've given yourself a, a raise of so much per hour. But you've got to recognize it first, so you've got to put your costs in there. So the cost per hour variables and the, the cost per load variables all build into your margin. And then ultimately what you can finally do in here is that we all know that customer A, we are able to book that freight and get it covered in just a few minutes. But customer B, it takes me several hours to cover a load. So now through evaluation of those times and those costs, we can come up with what I call a cost per load effort variable. So for the first time, you can apply costs against each customer as to how efficiently you can cover their business. And it all comes back down to say, okay, now, did I really make $100 on that load when it cost me took me four hours to cover it as opposed to that. No, you didn't. So you have to really analyze what your cost per loads are and ultimately determine what your profit is rather than just your margin.